Hey everyone, this is Firoz here from Magnus Plus IT Solution. In today's video, we are going to look at how we can manage our subscription in Dynamics 365 application. When you have a Dynamics 365 online account, you have to manage all your subscription under Office 365 Admin Center. So we have to navigate to the Office 365 Admin Center where we have to configure your subscriptions. So first of all, you have to navigate to Settings, then Administration, and then go to Subscription Management. So that will basically take you to the office.com website. You can see it here, and then you go to the Options or Menu, click on Admin Center. So you can see the URL is changing over here to portal.office.com slash admin portal slash home. So we are on that Office is by Admin Center now. Then you have to navigate to Billing, click on Subscriptions. So this will show you the subscriptions, the subscription that you have already purchased from Microsoft. So for me, it is Dynamics 5 Customer Engagement Plan Enterprise Edition. So it is active now. Once it is expired, it will show you it is expired in red color. It is, it is going to expire in 11 days. You can also extend the trial for one more month. We will see how we can do that in a separate video. And this is a price for per user per month. You can also have an option to buy it. So this is a trial version for me. So if I just need to buy that, you can just navigate from here. And what are the more options available over here that you can see that? And what all the uh, apps included in this package? You can see that Dynamics to certify for sales, customer service, field service, project service automation, and team members, enterprise edition, etc. And here on the left hand side, you can see the licenses available. 25 licenses are available as part of this enterprise edition and only two licenses are used then if you want to assign more users to the licenses you can just click on assign to users so where we need to add more users and then we need to configure them dynamic state file license you will see that more later on for now I just go back to subscriptions so i have only one active subscription available now at the moment then if i just need to purchase more subscription just click on add subscriptions so that will show you a plethora of subscription available over here, which include Office 365 packages, Dynamics 365 packages, and all that. You can see the purchase services, Dynamics 365 suite, which contains many details over here. This is the one presently we have, and these are the comments involved in that. The SharePoint, OneDrive for Business, Project Online, Microsoft Dynamics 365, and Social Engagement. There are different packages available here. Dynamics is for sales enterprise edition, $95 per user for month. Same goes for field service enterprise edition. Customer service, same price. Social engagement. Then comes enterprise suite where you have Office 35 enterprise E3. So if you want to see more details on any of this package, you can see it here out of included on this. Just click on learn more. That will take you to a different page of that particular package from there you can get more detail and also you can purchase so we will see in a different video how we can purchase any of these services for now we we'll just now get back to the subscription management so under the same billing section we have subscription then you have bills so this will show you all the bills that is built against your account you can view them select the duration and then just click on view to see the bills and the licenses that you have used can see the name of the package and the valid licenses you have available here along with the expired licenses and the billing notification to whom the notification has to send to only your system admin or the other users will get a notification as you set here by default the system admin will be added in this notification if you want any other users need to be added you can just configure that here there's only one user is added here you can even just uh, edit the user roles of this user over here so we will look into that later. And if you just want to go back to your Dynamics 65 application, just click on this menu and click on Dynamics 65. So that will take back you to the Dynamics 65 application from where you came from. So that's it for this video. So if you have any comment or suggestion, please go to the comment section and put that there. So I'll be happy to help you. So thanks for watching.